Hey guys, welcome to the Rice Share Report. Mike Dean in the house, and you're my guest. Thanks for joining me for today's special announcement coming at you right here in my sexy ass Prius slash mobile studio. I know sexy and Prius don't generally go together, but when it's me sitting in it, there you go, baby. So check it out, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I got some pretty exciting news. I don't know. I think most of you drivers have not heard that Uber has been rolling out a customer support hotline. Bang. That's right. Where you can actually call Uber on the phone to get some of your questions answered instead of sending in those emails that sometimes, you know, it can be a little frustrating. I mean, come on. How many times have you guys sent an email in and you swear there's a robot on the other end responding with like this auto response, you know, type of uh, email stuff, right? Like, like, you know, you're sending out like a, a question, Hey, I got a problem with my hourly guarantees. It looks like you guys, you know, might've missed a few hours or I didn't get it for this, you know, uh, uh, time period. And all of a sudden you get an email back saying, well, let me tell you how the hourly guarantees work. And you're like, uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't need to know how they work. Actually, I just need my money that I didn't get. So I need a human, right? Well, you know, for the most part, Uber pretty does, I mean, Uber pretty much does have a pretty good email support as far as I'm concerned. It's not that bad, you know? It gets a little sticky sometimes, and sometimes you got to send more than one email. Uh, but if you compare it to Lyft, it's freaking outstanding. It's like the best support in the world. But that's another video, right? But, you know, you do have options as well. You can go down to a uh, Uber Support Center and or HubSpot. Uh, what do they call it? The Uber Green something. I don't know. Green, red, orange, blue, whatever. So you do have more options with Uber to get some of your questions answered and to address uh, some of your issues. So it's not that bad. But, you know, now they actually have uh, an 800 hotline that they've been rolling out into new cities, uh, launching out of here in San Francisco, which really looks promising. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it. In fact, instead of telling you, let's actually, I'm just going to show you actually how it works. So what you do is you open up your uh, Uber app and as you can see here, uh, you're in your home screen. Click on uh, your account information on the right hand side. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the help um, uh, menu, the, the help item in the menu. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, you actually have a phone icon. And if you click on that phone icon, you can actually call Uber support. Obviously, if you don't have that phone icon, then that means that Uber support is no is not currently available in your in your city. Uber support phone support is not currently available in your city. But let's click on it and see what we get. So we got call Uber or cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and call just so we can hear what it kind of sounds like. Check it out. Hi. Thank you for calling Uber's pilot phone support line. If you're calling about a critical safety issue, like an accident or altercation on the Uber platform, press 9 now. Otherwise, stay on the line. Now, do you think I should, like, talk to a customer service rep? I you? see you're calling from 1510717735777. If that's the phone number associated with your partner account, press 1. If not, press you guys want to hear the how customer about service payment, sounds like? Ah! Trip related issues like tolls, cleaning fees, or a missed trip, press 2. If a rider left something in your vehicle, press 3. For help with anything else, press 4. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm just going to X that out. I don't want to, you know, take it that far. But as you can see, that's pretty freaking awesome. So you have some preset kind of menu options, um, you know, issues with, you know, a rider or leaving you know, a rider leaving an item in the car, et cetera, et cetera. And of course you just, just hit zero for like general customer uh, service inquiries. So that's pretty freaking awesome guys. You know, I've actually used this several times and I've gotten answers to questions that I needed like bang, like ASAP. Well, let me tell you. So right now it's um, the launch uh, for this particular feature, the customer service hotline uh, began in San Francisco and where it currently is as well. So you got in San Francisco, you got the surrounding Bay Area. OK, which means that you have uh, the South Bay, including all of Silicon Valley from San Jose all the way up uh, to the North Bay. And you also have the East Bay, such as Oakland, Emeryville, Walnut Creek, um, 
Berkeley, for example. So you got the whole Bay Area where you can actually make a phone call and talk to Uber customer support. That's pretty cool. However, they just uh, recently launched several new cities. You got Tampa, Florida. You got Houston, Texas. You've got Boston and you have Las Vegas. Now check it out. I spoke to a customer service rep today, just like this. And uh, the, the objective and the goal is to actually replace email support with uh, phone support. Now, I don't think that could literally happen, but as a primary tool for drivers to communicate with customer support, yes. Uh, eliminating email support, no. But I think as a primary uh, tool and, and form of communication for driver inquiries, absolutely, that's part of the goal, that's part of the objective, uh, according to a customer service rep that I spoke to today, and I think that's pretty awesome. So I think we're going to be looking at customer service hotline being the primary means and method for drivers to be able to reach out uh, to Uber. Uh, with different questions and concerns. Of course, email, you'll still need it because, you know, there's documents and there's other types of written, you know, uh, content that will be need to be shared amongst uh, a driver as well as, you know, the customer service rep and or reps. Uh, but as a primary uh, tool to communicate um, with customer service reps, uh, you know, available right on the freaking phone, you know, with a little icon there on the upper right hand side, bang it's pretty freaking awesome so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video the tutorial uh and or the announcement uh look forward to other cities rolling out uh in the next few months uh, i'm sure they're going to be expanding it was a beta program here in san francisco obviously it's something that not only has been a success um but it's definitely needed uh so that drivers can communicate better with customer service and or also in a more expedited fashion but there are other methods guys Guys, remember you got email support you got the new phone support limited to certain cities granted uh, other cities rolling out soon uh, and of course you have a lot of hub spots where you can visit and talk to a live customer service rep at those hub spots so take advantage of uh, you know all the means of communication don't overburden you know don't send multiple emails blah 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 in any case that's it thanks for joining me for today's announcement this is Mike Dean with the Reiser report uber on liftoff and remember who loves you, baby, because it ain't me.